Hello dear students, I am Dr. Nivas Patil. I am going to talk about resume writing, the most important document of your career life. We can say that it is an entry pass in the corporate world for you people. So let's understand about this important document in this lecture. What is resume? There are different definitions of resume. Let's understand one by one. A resume is a document that job seekers use to promote their skills, abilities and knowledge to potential employer. From an employer's perspective, resumes are used to identify qualified and suitable candidate for particular job profile. In short, resume is a brief summary of skill sets of an applicant who is applying for specific job. So you must have understood with this definition what resume is. As far as your career life is concerned, this is most important document in your life. There are different purposes behind writing a resume. What are those? Let's understand them one by one. The first is showing employers you are qualified for a specific position. Emphasizing the most relevant experience and skill sets. Means you are bringing into the notice of the employer what the skill sets you have with the help of this particular documentation. Showcasing the most notable achievements. Outlining all the personal and professional details in an easily read format. Conveying an intent to an employer for a position. These are the different purposes we consider while drafting the resume. There is a difference in between CV and resume. Most of the times we say that we are creating CV and all. But what is the basic difference in between CV and resume? Let's understand it. CV, curriculum vitae. It is a Latin word of meaning course of life. By the word course of life, you must have understood what curriculum vitae is. It is more detailed than the resume. A CV lists out every skills, all the jobs and positions that you have held, customized for a larger audience and not for a specific job description. No limit on the pages means you can mention all the details that you have done or achieved or accomplished. Next understand about resume. What resume is? Resume is a French word of meaning summary. A summary of one's education, skills and employment when applying for a new job. A resume does not list out all the details of a profile. It is customized to the target job profile. It lists only relevant and active certifications. It is of one or two pages maximum. So you must have understood the difference in between CV and resume. Next, let's understand about the different do's and don'ts of resume writing. Dear students, try to understand the different do's. You have to keep in mind, of course, you are going to create your resume after completing your BTEC degree. Then while drafting resume, while writing resume, you are supposed to keep in mind these do's. The first, mention the relevant or specific experience and skills that are close to your job. Mention relevant education according to new job description. Include personal information uh, in which you are going to talk about your full name, contact details, address details, etc. Compare job description with your educational qualification and check how closely it matters to requirement. Use action words like achieved, completed, participated. What does it mean by action words? Let me tell you one simple example. Like you have participated in a conference. You can say that participated in a national conference. You have achieved something. You can say that achieved first rank, second rank, completed BTEC in computer science and engineering. So you are supposed to use the action words. You can start the sentence in resume by using the action words. There are different elements in resume writing. What are those elements we are going to understand after the discussion over the don'ts of resume writing. What are the don'ts of resume writing? Don't mention irrelevant experience. Don't include family details like marital status, number of children, etc. Avoid applying for jobs that have requirements you don't meet. Avoid using cliches or idioms 
such as phrases like team player, hard worker, etc. Avoid too much industry specific language or jargon. Technical jargon means what? Some technical words which are not that much easy to understand in the first reading. So that's why try to use simple words. Don't use too much industry specific words or jargon. Avoid first person pronouns like I, me or we. Don't start your sentence in your resume by using such types of pronouns in your resume. What are the different key elements? As I told you that we are going to discuss about the elements also. Let's understand them one by one. The first is personal information in which your name, address, email, contact number, these things are included. Next, objective. What does it mean by objective line? It is a goal statement according to a position that you are going to help in the organization. Next, educational details. Educational details in the reverse chronological order. Current education will be in the top in the order. Technical skills and soft skills. Skill sets that you possess. Next, the most important thing is that the workshop and the conferences if you attend the workshops and conferences, if you have attended the workshops and conferences, even while doing your BTEC degree, you are supposed to mention them because these workshops and conferences brings the different type of weightage to your resume. It makes the different impression, special impression over the recruiter. So that's why do attend the different workshops and conferences. Work experiences as far as the work experience is concerned, if you are a fresher, being fresher, you are supposed to mention about the internship programs. You can mention about the internship programs with the name of the organization to which that you have completed your internship program. Then publication details, research articles or the research papers if you have published or book chapters, any in case of you are supposed to write the publication details. Project work details, only titles of mini and final projects that you have completed while doing your degree. The next is that references. What does it mean by references? References are none other than the contact details of the authority from previous organization. Declaration that is undertaking statement. The next is closing place, date, name and sign. There are different formats of resume writing. The first one is that chronological resume starting with your most recent position and working back backward. Next reverse chronological resume starting with professional summary. Next, functional resume, a type of resume that focuses more on skills rather than work experience. Sample resume, you can find the different sample resume. I can't show you the sa sample resume uh, because it, it won't be that much visible here. So that's why I have provided the different web links to you people with the help of these links, you can search the different sample of resume. Thank you. I hope that you might have reached what are the different expectations about the understanding of resume writing I could reach to you people. Thank you so much.